For thousands of years, people became better at making things. They improved their tools, they improved their housing, they improved their food. At least, until recently. People even improved the way to get rid of each other. And for doing so, they used all kinds of materials. Wood, stone, fibres, iron. But not only that, they even used living creatures. Big ones and small ones, and even creatures so small that they did not even realise that they were using them. The way people worked didn't change a lot over time. Manual labour was hard and wages were low until, about 200 years ago, people started so-called revolutions. They started the French one in France and the industrial one in the United Kingdom. The French Revolution replaced kings with politicians. The Industrial Revolution replaced manual labour with machines and craftsmen with working masses. The Industrial Revolution made making things much more efficient and therefore things became cheaper for everyone. About 100 years after the first Industrial Revolution, there was a second one. It used chemistry and physics and brought many new things, such as the electric light, the electric motor, dynamite and gasoline. Horses were replaced by cars, and a guy called Pasture discovered that the secret behind 8,000 years of brewing beer and making bread was a microorganism called yeast. La Knowing that microorganisms exist and do useful stuff was the starting point for a bio-industrial revolution. Alors, from controlled fermentation to vaccines, from stopping milk getting sour, to ending infectious diseases, the use of microbes changed people's lives. After about 150 years of science and industry, the number of people on the planet grew exponentially, and so did their knowledge about things. It definitely was time for a third industrial revolution. This time revolving around information, communication, and computers. Jobs were replaced by wires, were replaced by satellites, were replaced by glass fibres. Books and libraries were becoming digital information. Even life itself was seen as information. In 1953, Mr Crick and Mr Watson, oh, and of course Mrs Franklin, found out that the building plan of all living creatures was coded in a molecule called DNA. From this point in time, life was seen as a set of genetical information that only had to be understood. Modifying genes was a game changer in many fields. It made plants yield more fruit, put gangsters behind bars, and changed the fight against diabetes. Before, insulin had been extracted by killing hundreds of pigs. Today it is fermented by genetically modified yeast in vast amounts and better quality. Understanding our world as a set of information that could be stored and sent from computer to computer once again changed the way we make things. Right now, we are in the midst of the fourth industrial revolution that replaces physical reality with virtual spaces. Online shops replace shopping malls, mobile apps replace meeting rooms and computer simulations replace real disasters. Based on pure information, the Fourth Industrial Revolution is currently establishing a digital copy of our reality to influence, predict and interact with our real world. The Bioindustry 4.0 project will be the next step in this development. Bioindustry 4.0 wants to turn this digital revolution into a biological one as well. Its mission is to connect European research and production infrastructures such as labs, microbe and fungal collections gene banks and research institutions to provide a framework for a secure exchange of information. Connecting and combining the vast amount of already existing data will make it possible to create digital twins to be used in life sciences and bio-industry. A big step forward, as testing and running biological processes on a computer can make research and production more safe, efficient and reliable. If you are interested in tapping this huge potential and want to participate in our project, follow us on the internet.